Hey, welcome. Uh, this is uh, our another talk about machine learning. So in this uh, short presentation, we'll discuss ab about the machine learning concepts. Uh, we'll uh, initiate with uh, the hierarchy, as you can see that, I mean, artificial intelligence uh, and uh, within it, the broadly machine learning and deep learning, generative AI, large language models, what you can see, and so on. So uh, we'll discuss about uh, this hierarchy a bit. Mm. Okay, so uh, with a series of uh, short lectures, we'll cover uh, the machine learning, uh, different kinds of machine learning, and their various aspects, uh, including uh, how to level data, level data, and unlevel data, we will talk about the supervised learning. We'll give some examples. So uh, uh, if you are listening for the first time and uh, not covering the previous lectures, then we know that machine learning uh, is a subset of artificial intelligence. Um, and it's important to all fields, including finance, social sciences, healthcare, and even art. And we have another lecture on what are the different kinds of machines like is it uh, like hardware or software and what are the different different options like i mean um, autonomous vehicle or a mobile phone or siri for example or others and others what kind of things we make them to learn and we call them machines so machine learning means those things are learning um, just like a teacher guiding a student with some level data uh, or correct information. So that is supervised learning, where there is a supervisor or a coach teaching a student about different, different things. And then in the real field, after the coaching is done, we feel sufficient. So now go to the real field and uh, win the match or something like this. Unsupervised learning is on the other hand, no supervisor. It's like a self-study learning without any specific answers. We have in between semi-supervised learning where, I mean, partially supervised. So it has mixed up level data and when and unleveled examples as well. Reinforcement learning is another example of uh, machine learning that where trial and error basis, it's just like a game or learning through feedback or reward mechanism. Like you do something and then when there is a good thing, the feedback is that good feedback or negative feedback. And based on this, uh, the improvements are going on. So we'll cover uh, details um, more or less, uh, uh, I mean, um, theoretical point of view and some examples step by step. Definitely, uh, data is extremely important in artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning and so on. So uh level data versus unlevel data will cover those things as well okay just one thing is very important for us to understand that today many 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 artificial intelligence systems or models rely heavily on machine learning and especially we call deep learning when we are doing large scale applications based on larger data set yes machine learning is not 100% equivalent to artificial intelligence, but modern AI systems, almost everything you can say that are based on machine learning. And when it comes to big, big projects, big, big AI systems, deep learning is, I mean, by default, more or less. So while machine learning is a core component of many AI systems, it's not the sole foundation. So in the past and still today, there are a few, few cases. We use different kinds of symbolic AI, rule-based systems, and so on. So in previous lectures, we mentioned about rule-based systems, as, uh, like, I mean, say, search engines, uh, or uh, sometimes the traditional uh, language translators. But modern translators and others are incorporating deeply on deep learning-based systems or generative AI-based concepts and so on, and transformers. Deep learning, while deep learning is a subset of machine learning that excels with large data sets, it's also not the only approach for big data. There are different, different strategies. 
And we know that machine learning is leading uh, for big data, uh, the uh, subset of machine learning is deep learning is leading. But as artificial intelligence is constantly evolving, so uh, I mean, uh, these kind of machine learning or deep learning dominant uh, methodologies uh, uh, will be uh, changed in the future. Maybe new thing will come. Um, our reinforcement learning is there still much more to do and uh, for example generative AIs are gaining prominence and so on now let's look at the hierarchy we know that chat gpt i mean uh, initially when chat gpt came people considered okay chat gpt chat gpt is the only thing but very quickly we heard bard came not the bird flying bird okay this is a b-a-r-d bird from uh, uh which is now called gemini and many, many other, I mean, large language models are around, okay? So um, they are, I mean, changing our mindset about how massively AI can contribute uh, and uh, help. So what about other fields? So let's see the AI is the broader one and within this, the machine learning, and uh, deep learning when we basically consider deep, de de big, large data sets and then generative artificial intelligence and large language models based on generative pre-trained transformers we call GPT. So GPT has different, different versions and uh, of the future by the time you listen, probably, I mean, end of this year and next year and next year, I mean, this will have lots of various versions because the progressions are amazingly good. What about other fields? What about statistics or math? When we say AI, uh, we know that we need to study deeply on linear algebra to understand the methodologies of machine learning, deep learning, and so on. And uh, statistics are extremely important. And uh, what about philosophy? AI becomes philosophy as well. So this is I feel, and uh, that's why this can be considered a typical hierarchy AI to the modern technologies. Now, AI and we say machine learning. So traditionally, before, I mean, uh, roughly more than a decade ago, uh, mm, uh, deep learning become uh, a new phenomenon uh, in a deeper manner. Like, I mean, we are having GPUs and uh, easy server to run big data set based on deep learning and so on. But prior to that, it was basic, basically shallow machine learning and uh, or machine learning. And uh, nowadays we also use machine learning, but deep learning much more than generative artificial intelligence and large language models like a GPT, generative pre-trained transformers. It's not the transformers we see in uh, I mean, um, uh, electrical transformer or uh, the cartoons or movie scenes, okay? This is a transformer, which is like a model. No need to memorize this. If you need, you can learn and understand how it works. There are lots of materials there or book. So this is an encoder decoder system that can, I mean, do many, many different things and change the, I mean, uh, world with, uh, I mean, enormously language processing, so NLP, natural language processing task, and so on. All right, of course, transformer-based systems can be used for other areas, and we have been exploring. Now, applications of machine learning in daily life. We know that most of the AI applications we discussed in previous, previous lectures, I mean, are basically on machine learning nowadays or subset of machine learning is deep learning, like social media streaming recommendations, series, spam detection, so on. Now think, what about uh, other apps or websites you use daily? And guess how machine learning might be working behind the scenes. So when you are on the train or not doing anything, closing your eyes and thinking, think where AI is engulfing us which areas AI applications are there and what kind of input 
and in between what are, are the different methodologies they are considering and what are the output so and what are the challenges the accuracies and what we can incorporate further and so on all right so if you do like this way think like this way even if you don't know the uh, i mean mathematical modeling you can find new new ideas uh, and uh, or find issues that can be solved with your thinking and others thinking and brainstorming so these are very very important with that i would like to request you all to study hard and uh, uh, do the best. Thank you very much. So we'll go to another lecture. Um...